Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so what we're doing now is a breakdown of the Methodori tribe. So there is one thing. I thought these are all kind of um, <clears throat> mechy based kind of mechs or human meets mechs. Um, and I see Astra's also here as well. Um, I find that a bit odd, but because uh, she's she's using one of these creatures, which and she's using bugs, and I, I keep thinking, should she not be alongside the Cholek, which seem to have a very similar, you know, <clears throat> aesthetic. Um, but, you know, who am I to, they've got a specific story, so I'm not going to mess with that. So we'll go down the Methodori as well. We'll judge. Again, uh, five out of five is must have in a deck. Uh, one or two is blah. And three, well, two, one is blah. Two is, two to three is very much a build a deck around. And four to five is getting like, you know, we're, we're getting really well. Okay, so let's start alphabetically. So we have Regis, is that? No, Aegis Defense Dome. Aegis Defense Dome, right. So, absolutely beautiful boy. This kind of like Egyptian meets techno meets eagle kind of aesthetic is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Six drop. Not so gorgeous. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. And you know it's very expensive it has 10 health it is a big boy it is a big big boy but damage to allies in range is reduced by one and its range is quite decent so it's able to provide an aoe damage mitigation field and for units that are able to prop one to two that's actually significant because if a unit's doing two attacks that do two damage each it's now doing two attacks that do one it's it's almost like it's cutting all of that damage in half but it's taking away the major effectiveness of that unit and an opponent like this this doesn't have any attack this thing is not able to attack itself but the fact that this is on the field your opponent is going to have to deal with it and the fact that you can drop this and immediately see benefit immediately it doesn't have to spend mana for anything like this it's just there you spend six mana you drop this now this damage mitigation field is in effect your opponent either needs to deal with this and get rid of it and devote the resources to killing 10 mana or it this you ju they're just going to feel this after a while so this is actually very very good this is a hard three i'd say in a very specific deck that's focusing around either melee or getting up close and personal where damage mitigation is required this is a four don't think it's a five because i don't think it needs to go in every deck but i do think it is one to watch out for if this was five mana i can imagine this being way closer to a five but for six it moves itself into niche the regis sentinel so there is a series of units that are like this this specific like turret tech that you can actually drop down and they look absolutely fantastic so for this the Aegis sentinel it's a five drop again i said like the other one i said should be a five drop so this is a five drop it has armor so it's already reducing all damage to it by one i think they stack because this is reducing armor by one but this isn't giving armor this is giving an energy field which reduces armor by one so i think these will actually stack together and if they do even better but you're devoting a lot of like this is a very late game strat so it's immobile so once this drops it can't be undropped it can't be moved like this is just immobile once you drop this it is where it is so center field or very much in a space if your opponent is fighting close to the backboard in a very specific cluster you want to get this kind of if you're like if you're doing this and your opponent's fighting kind of up here you want to drop your unit up here as well so your opponent's gonna to have to dedicate resources to get out and even then because you control center board you're gonna feel the effects for a while and it has fletch it so it does have a cost so for three mana it deals three damage to all units in an area now here's the thing though you don't need to put this in a deck where it acts on this turn if if you do that's that's fine that's cool you're more than welcome to but you don't have to this thing has 12 health with armor it's a tank it is a tank above tanks it is ridiculous it's so good and then it just does three damage to all units in an area your opponent is going to spread out so far the toast is going to be dry there's not that much butter on it that's the most pg 
I'll leave it, I'll leave it at that. It's just the most PG example analysis, I, PG example I could put on that. But it's a tank. If this was ten, I'd still say it's 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 a it's a hard three. If this was nine, I'd be leaning four. But this is twelve health. This is a four. If you have space to put this in your deck and you can put stuff around it, do. It's that good. If you're building a late game tank deck with damage mitigation, this is a five. This is a five. For now, I'll say very very soft four. No, do you know what? Medium four. I like the look of it. Look at it. It's a space turret. It's four. It's a four. It's a four. Antios, Gauntlet. Okay, so this is a one mana unit, so you actually might actually you might actually see this a lot. It's armors impeccable. Again, every every unit gets five out of five for their luck. Just they do. It's melee and has inner energy. So it's able to gain plus three attack for two mana. It's able to gain plus three attack and first strike this turn. Which I believe means it's able to do the damage and not have to worry about getting retaliated upon because melee and melee actually hit each other and then do damage back so that's very very good uh very very niche and again if you're popping this in the deck where you can activate it on the turn fantastic but then you're going to be devoting one mana to drop this one mana to activate it that turn and two mana to pay this to make this a four a four six with first strike so four mana for a four six with first strike in magic the gathering terms is that worth it in a pinch, it's got haste and first strike. So in a pinch, but niche. I'd say hard two. Hard two, soft three. <clears throat> Aria, okay. Aria is a staple in a lot of decks. It's actually a default in a lot of decks as well. So Aria is very, very good. Uh, three drop. It is ranged. She can get stillness. So she gains 75% accuracy until she moves or takes damage. So accuracy gets worse the farther away you are but if you're able to place Arya just where she's either protected behind cover and is able to still pick people off like let's say they're clustering together and you're about to drop a nuke on them and they decide to spread away she pops this she's not missing she's just not missing she only does two damage though so hard three if this was if she was four and this was three she'd be an easy four easy for it to put in any range deck for this you do need an early drop so three astra okay so here's your captain she's fantastic she is one of the top tiers if she is not the strongest captain out right now i would be very very surprised uh, for the following reasons she is ranged her range is quite large um she has airborne so she moves over obstacles as well which is very very good so she's highly mobile and when Astra destroys a crew member, she reinforces. And reinforces, when your hand is empty or you have space, you can pull another unit from your deck that you want to spend mana on next turn to drop. So whenever she destroys a crew, she's able to reinforce. So you kind of always want her to drop the actual last hit. In addition to that, Astra has two amazing abilities. For one mana, she can permanently reduce the cost of a random crew on the bridge so a random crew which maybe she just in, in, reinforced and inspired by two turning your very expensive units into very not so expensive four drops as well as into the into the breach so for two mana she can remove stun from a unit now <clears throat> that's useful in a defensive term but in this game summoning sickness and stun are the same thing so when you summon a unit and then you spend two mana to remove the stun, it can attack immediately. So all your ranged units get very, very strong, very, very fast. So she is the queen right now of the Zerg Rush ranged units. And a lot of the games I played last night were against specific Astras, dropping two to three to four manas and then spending the two mana to make them move and attack immediately. And my captain did not even know what hit it. Very, very strong. Even if aesthetically I don't think she matches big tech decks, I think she should be the commander in those because reducing their, reducing their actual attack is just too good. Beatrice, Enforcer. So it is a two mana, two mana, quite cheap. And strangely enough, even though it's two mana, have not seen a, a lot of this unit. So two mana, melee, slow, so it has decreased movement range itself. 
armor, so it takes less damage, and it's melee. And it only does two damage, but when it attacks, it damages all units in a line behind the target. So if you're able to do this, this is very good. And has seven L health with armor. So this thing should last you a good few turns. So hard three, specific decks only. Okay, so next up is Detonia or Detonator. Detonia. At two damage or two mana to drop. Not ranged or melee, neither of those. But for two mana, can lob an explosive that deals two damage to all units in an area. It's not a very small area, but it's not very it's not a very big area either. Uh, very specific, I'm saying hard two, so two, two, two. Uh, keep as a, a niche if your opponent is clustering, but there's probably better units that you can put in the deck to fill in the space. So two, two for two, two for two. For two. Okay, so Extilior, the final captain that we have right now. So when a rival is destroyed and random ally gets a shield of hope, so that actually mitigates damage by one. So you're giving your ally shield when Exterior actually kills a unit. So it, it is very, very good and does focus on having units surrounding Exterior. So for one mana, Exterior can give shield of hope to any ally, including himself, mitigating all damage by one. That's very, very good. It, it, it's actually very, very good. So I, you know, pop that on when you can if you have an excess mana. For two, he's able to do Sword of Justice, which is the spinning attack from the actual trailer, which does three damage to all units in, basically within melee of exterior. That's your units too, so you need to be careful. Unfortunately, I found that out the hard way. But uh, if you can get exterior within range, it's good. Now, that's the issue. Because he's range, he's or because he's melee, <clears throat> he's best suited for getting up close in the fray. Your opponent's going to know this, so when they see an exterior, they're going to pepper him from far away. So you need to do things to get him in range, and once he's in melee, just watch him work. He's very good. Right now, with the supports and stuff that there are, I do think I would rather choose Astra and Zax over exterior, but he is the coolest looking. That's just my thought. Next, we have Florio Lancer. So five mana. Absolutely fantastic. Love this armor aesthetic. This whole gun, this whole, the, the, just the everything's five out of five. I would change this to silver and change this to purple, but that'd be the only aesthetic changes I would actually do. Other than that, this whole thing is just incredible. So five mana drop. <clears throat> it is slow, but it does have for four mana bombard to deal three damage to all units in an area that's including your units as well so it's part of the whole bombardment class the, the ranged kind of now notice a lot of them do take a lot of mana so you're you're devoting five mana to drop it now then you're devoting four mana to deal range damage next turn if we're going back to regis five mana now or ages i should say five mana now three damage next turn to do or three mana next turn to do three damage to a, to all units in an area as well so there's an expense there is a severe expense with these range units and i don't suggest putting so many of these in a deck together i would choose between florio lancer and let's say age of sentinel now this is 12 health but it's a mobile eight health but it can move but not by much so it's up to yourselves it's up to yourselves if you focus more on movement and you will have movement skills i'd say put this in with this with a crankbait to to pull it around not bad not bad but uh it's not 12, it's not 12 health though so i'd say hard three hard three very soft four in specific decks Next up is Furia. So Furia, five mana. She's a big hulking brute. Ranged and power up. If Furia didn't attack in a turn, take one damage and gain plus three attack for the next attack only. She already she only does two normally and she has eight health. So you're dropping her. She gets summoning sickness for the turn. So you're not gonna be attacking with her anyway. So next turn she's gonna take one damage and she's gonna be a five seven next turn so if your opponent sees this 
and has nothing else to target, he will target her. Because if he doesn't, this is good. This is a problem. But then the following turn, she goes back to a two attack. So she's an on and off and on and off and on and off kind of thing. So she's better on every subsequent turn. Very niche, hard three. I've used her effectively, but again, every second turn. Okay, next up we have is Maximus. So one mana drop, one of the very few ones that we're able to see. So that's actually quite good. One mana drop, ranged, and it has rapid fire. So when ranged units attack, it fires back at them. And when Maximus damages the target, it's able to refresh, refresh its movements with an ability called Fleet Foot. So only one. So it's able to fire twice. So it's effectively at two damage. If it crits, that's good. It has six health, but this thing is going to be able to move, attack, and then move again. So it's able to move, attack, and move again. It runs away. Five. Its placement is specific, but it's very, very good. The fact that it gets double movement if it hits. It's a five. It's a hard four. It's a soft five, but put it in your deck if you can. Novian Bulwark, look at the size of this thing. Oh, I am never going in this space again. Huh. Six mana, so it is a hulk of a boy. It is a huge drop. Ranged, but it has entrenched. It has entrenched, so it can't can't move, so it's a mobile, but when it attacks, it is per it gains permanently 25% accuracy. So 10 health, it's big. But I've actually played with this unit. Placing it down in the middle of the board means you can force your opponent to only play around the sides. If you're playing it into a place that locks them, they have to devote so much resources to getting it. And this thing is just plus 25% accuracy with every successive attack. That's very, very good. Because even if they get further away, you've just given yourself plus 25% accuracy with a successful hit last turn. So you moving away, as long as you're still in range, doesn't affect me as much. You can't outrun the bulwark. This is very, very good. It is expensive though, so be careful, but it's a four. It is a four, in my opinion. Very good for siege decks. These work best with Astra because she's able to just decrease all of this. Savria, safeguard. Four mana. It is a melee, so already it's probably not going to see a lot of stuff but it does have shield barrier so for one reduce the next damage to a unit to zero so not all damage next turn just the next damage remember what i said in a previous video in a previous time that you don't want a unit that is dependent on your opponent's actions uh, there was a specific unit in the other smuggler's army that was able to retaliate with ranged attacks every time it was hit and had seven seven damage that's great but if your opponent reads that and is able to see that that's what it does, it's not going to do it. Your opponent's not going to proc that because it's good for you and not for him. This, you're spending a mana to put a shield on a unit to make sure the next damage is reduced to zero. But your opponent can choose what the next damage is. So it doesn't matter. So don't put this in. Because it just, it just... There's, if your opponent has a, has a way of doing 3 or 4 damage to you next turn or the auto crit with um, the uh, smuggler crosshair they're not going to waste the mitigated damage on that they're going to move something useless in that only does 1 damage or 2 damage to you break the shield and then do the crit so it doesn't matter this should be a when I'm damaged reduce the next damage to 0 that's what that should be or it should be reducing it, reduce all damage by, like, you have armor, so you're already reducing all damage by one. So you could up this to five and give this a two mana ability to reduce all damage done to the next unit to one until the start of the next turn. That's what it could be. Make it way more expensive, make it a five, and make this a two or a three mana drop, effectively making this a seven or an eight. But with the ability, all damage unit takes is reduced to one next turn. And you'd still see play because even if your opponent has six units you're still going to end up doing six damage because it's six times one but you'd still get decks that have popped this in because you move exterior or you protect your commander and you're guaranteed to do only one proc one proc one proc or if you have rapid fire on 
where is he Maximus that's still 1-1 one, one. that doesn't matter to him so he's actually immune to her because he's going to do 1-1 one, one. so that's 2 damage so he gets through that so so Savria is decent she's a 3 I do think if we up this by 1 and turn this into all damage target takes next turn is reduced to 1 damage for every tick of damage I made that 2 mana she'd be a 4 she'd be a 4 she's still see play I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put her in a deck like this now Taria Arsenal that is a very very cool model now the ones I look at are usually the ones I haven't seen on the field so this is a very very cool model two mana ranged and for two give ranged units rapid fire for a turn <clears throat> Wow, this dude is serious. This dude is very serious. Okay, Torian, Guardian. Four mana. Okay, it's a four drop. It's still par for the course. Melee. No. Yeah. Intercept. Torian, Guardian, and the nearest ally in range and line of sight are 40% harder to hit. He has seven health, but giving himself and the nearest ally in range a plus 40% chance to not strike them or... You could effectively call it 40% evasion. It's very good. And he deals three melee damage. That's very good. So even dropping his down just as a bit of a protector is very good. But again, your opponent's going to have to deal with this. But the fact that if he was three drop and didn't protect himself, he'd be peppered out immediately. But the fact that he peppers himself as well, and you can move him with the unit you're trying to protect, like Exterior or your, or your, um, or your champion, if you're moving this together with your champion, it's a, it's a walking 40% evasion for himself and the nearest melee unit. That's very good. It's very good. It's a hard three. If you can find a space for it, definitely a four. Okay, guys, so that's the actual method Dory from everything that we have now. There's a lot of strong units in here, especially if you want to go with a stringent bombardment type thing. A lot of the units are expensive, so I would suggest if you're not going to do a full... Uh, ranged kind of a bit, uh, build which I still think if you're going to do ranged Zax is probably the best one since Zax's ability is able to push them away so ranged units benefit more but Astra would work a lot better with these um, larger units these larger seas things like the defense dome the sentinel the lancer and the novian bulwark as well I think Astra's ability to permanently reduce for one mana to permanently reduce these should be swapped probably no there should be two but the ability to reduce the cost of a random crew member on the bridge is is fantastic. So pair Astra with some nice larger units and I think you'll see some really good benefits. Okay, join me in the next video. We'll be discussing the Cholek then. Not many for there, but um, I'm sure we'll make a video out of it. See ya!